Hey bitches, my name is Flipper today. Before I start off this mess of a video, I just want to point out some things. First of all, I'm wearing a hat because I was too lazy to blow dry my hair today. Second of all, this is not a cold sore. I have not kissed anyone in months. Anyways, today is Sunday. I've had a project going on in my Honors Humanities English class for at least two months. We had to read a book called The Things They Carried, and part of the project is to create a visual portion where we highlight one of the characters in the book and we have to get three quotes about them, five things they carried, yada yada yada, a lot of requirements here are all of them. This was originally due Monday, then the teacher moved it to Friday, then she realized that every senior has not done it, so she moved it to tomorrow. It's 4 p.m. I haven't started it, now that I have my friends. Let's get to painting. Now the character I have is Kurt Lemon. And a quick background about this character is that he is overly masculine, has to prove his masculinity. And if you don't know what this book is about, it's basically a bunch of short stories of this guy who went to Vietnam during the war. And one of the stories had Kurt Lemon, who was a soldier, who played with a grenade and accidentally hit a mine and died. So I have to paint that somehow. I have to visually portray it onto this. And it also has to be a mini poster because I have to add quotes and sheets of paper on here somehow. I have never done something to this level. I painted shoes and that's like the highlight of this year. I can't paint portraits either so I might just paint a lemon. I don't know. But first, I'm gonna see if I can sketch something out because I'm running out of time. But before we could do that, I had to go through the whole book again, find quotes that match his character, and find the five objects that he carried. Alright, so that took around 20 minutes to do. I think I finally know what to do for this poster though. First, I'm gonna write his name up here in calligraphy because bonus points for being visually attractive i don't know in the scene they talk about um one of the main characters singing the song lemon tree while they pick up the body parts from the tree he blew up in morbid i know i'm gonna make it less morbid and just draw a lemon tree and portray him as an actual lemon kurt lemon will be an actual lemon um just resting on the side of the tree pretending to look up at the sun because there is a scene where they say that it looked like the sunlight was hitting his face. So I'll have the sun coming in from this side, shining onto the lemon's face. I won't give the lemon a face, I promise. I'm not gonna pull an annoying orange. Next I'll have grass right here, and this is where I'm gonna put my quotes, and then my explanation of the things they carried. I think I'm gonna have a mine sort of right here, away from him, just to indicate that there was a mine next to him. And the things that Kurt Lemon carried was a smoke grenade. He also carried a white ghost mask. I'm gonna have that hanging on the top of the tree. Not really sure how I'm gonna portray that yet, but I'm gonna do that. Maybe it'll hang off a twig, I don't know. He also carried an M16 as his gun, so I'm gonna have that next to him, or resting on the lemon. He carried a flashlight, and he also carried his ego because he was excessively masculine. I'm gonna skip out on the ego part because I think it's impossible to visualize that, but I'm going to explain that he did carry that with himself. So I'm gonna sketch out everything, and then I'm gonna start painting right after that, so. Here we go. Can I just say, sketching out the name took half of my time sketching the whole entire image, and I erased his name like three different times to make sure it was centered. Then I decided that filling it in with Sharpie would let me paint over it after, so I could still see the calligraphy, but that didn't fucking work at all, and I just wasted all my time doing that. Anyways, I sketched out the rest of my painting, but all of it got painted over, so I just wasted more time. My back is dying right now. I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break, and then I'm going to start painting this. Also, the sun is starting to set because it is 5 o'clock, which means I had to turn on the lights. A few minutes later. Now that I'm mentally prepared, I got all my water from this really extra food bowl that isn't even meant for paint, but I chose to use it for it because it had sunflowers in it. Took out my dollar store brushes and went ham on the sky, and clearly you can see that the paint covered my calligraphy, so that's 20 minutes I'll never get back. Then I thought it'd be a good idea to go through every single crevice because I have a too much gene and I'm a perfectionist, and Frederick, you are on a time crunch, why are you wasting your time? Then I decided to paint the sunlight that was supposed supposed to be very subtle but came out like fucking James Charles was smiting this lemon with highlighter. Next I wanted to add some clouds but once again too much gene and I added a thousand more. Then painted the grass and oh look there goes all my sketches that I worked on. Great great great. Then I started painting individual grass blades because the too much gene is way too strong and for some reason I stopped and decided to paint the bark of the tree and uh... 
That looks a little inappropriate. Anyways, finished the bark and then proceeded to do the most extra, unnecessary, irrelevant thing, which was to paint individual grass blades throughout the whole image. I mean, who the fuck even notices this stuff? No one. Once that was done, I just splat green all over the tree, which surprisingly was very opaque. Except this yellow was not. No, no, no. This took like 80 different layers just to get those lemons in the tree opaque enough, and I was too much gene i swear to god jenna marbles is right the too much gene really hurts you because this is the entirety of the project just painting all of these lemons then i just painted the mine in the flashlight gray because i was you know lazy at this point added a tooth because in the story kurt lemon uh lost a tooth and then i decided to outline everything in sharpie even though it looked fine before except my too much gene is too much i can't deal with anymore but this is kind of satisfying so i'm happy with it honestly then i went back to my roots to finish the calligraphy and then we were supposed to be done right nope because i had to print out all of my paperwork and this stuff like this took two more hours because my printer is shit and nothing decided to print this night and it made me so frustrated because this led up until midnight and even when it did print it printed wrong because look at that font it's not right then i started reading my notes and saw the m16 and the smoke grenade and then took two seconds to realize that i did not paint that at all so guess who has to paint even more when it's already midnight i was just sat to record so this is me showing you the m16 and then i had a stupid midnight thought and took white out hoping it could be opaque enough without having to do multiple layers because I forgot to draw white blossoms in the tree as it stated in the book there were some and I wanted to be that bitch who did that but let me tell you do not ever use white out on paper it is chunky it is stupid and it looked terrible after just this is the final product also here's a last minute smoke grenade that I tried to add in because I also forgot about that and I just had to cut these pieces of paper out and glue them and this is the final project like I'm actually very proud of it you have a white ghost mask right there I put a clouds everywhere you can see the white blossoms from white out and the lemon pieces i put in the tree and all of the sharpie work and then his name in calligraphy and this precise cutting of paper also miss morgan if you're watching this i'm sorry i did this video the day before i know you told me not to procrastinate on the project and you were right because look at this stupid mess i made and i have to clean it all up at 1 a.m in the morning but if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a like leave a comment down below about what other painting videos you want next and subscribe for more videos every saturday sunday or wednesday thursday if i'm not procrastinating sorry this video isn't as good as my usual ones i'm just on vacation right now in hawaii and i'd rather not stress myself out so this is one of my backup videos that i was about to delete but i was like you know what maybe you guys will like it so yeah just wait for next week it'll be better all right i love you guys and everything is less than three and now you should watch this video right now.